Uranium contains about 18 million calories per gram. So eating a gram of uranium is technically enough food to last you for the rest of your life. Interesting. Maybe I should consider that next time I'm in the lab and I'm hungry. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why uranium is yellow here. Uranium is yellow at some point in the fabrication process, uh, something that we call yellow cake and it's a powder form. Uh, however, as an ore, as a mineral, uh, it's usually not yellow. It's more like a rock kind of color, like greenish brown. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I mean, of course, the more energy an element has, the more calories it has, because you can always correlate energy to either measure it in joules or measure it in calories, uh, in everything edible or not. So in this case, 18 billion calories. That would be a lot of working out to lose these calories. Okay. A boy being awake, uranium or thorium reactors? The girl is like, yes. The boy is like, oh, I'm in love. The girl is like, yes, I'm in love. I don't know. Interesting. I mean, if we solve the problem with thorium reactors and their limitations, I am all for using thorium as fuel. It's abundant. It's out there. It's a good choice. Uh, however, as I said, problems exist in that reactor type as well. Uh, uranium, sure. We are doing it. We are going to keep doing it. Maybe different type of uh, uranium fuel, but uh, definitely I'm with this couple. Germany listening to scientific consensus on energy policy and avoiding blackouts this winter. Germany listening. <laughs> and the headphones are not where the ears are. I mean, they did decide to prolong the life of the reactor until April 2023, right? So that's good news. So let's give them that as uh, some credit at least and hoping that this will be their decision and their like stepping stone based on which they're going to change the attitude and behavior they had towards nuclear over the past years that didn't result in any good for them. Okay, solar panels show me that a real solution to climate change, wind turbines. I said the real solution to climate change and then cooling towers, perfection. <laughs> I mean, it's not perfection, I must say, but it's pretty damn good if you want to consider environmental issues and reducing the CO2 emission and the uh, greenhouse effect problems that the planet is facing, then yes, as I have already said, renewables and nuclear have to work side by side in order to do that. Just one or the other will not be the solution. Battery waste, just dirty waste, nuclear waste, everything perfect, clean and beautiful. Uh, actually, yes, these kind of pictures exist. They are not really popular, of course, because they are not really, say, beneficial for the media to show. But uh, other industries, other energy production industries, renewables or coal alike, they don't really have such stringent uh, policies for managing their waste. So the waste is pretty much dumped in landfills. That's what happens to it. Uh, whereas nuclear, of course, has an unprecedented uh, safety policy about the management of the waste and uh, facilities do look pretty much pristine and uh, very well kept and uh, monitored into every single detail and parameter. Whereas the um, one for the battery waste, which I'm assuming comes from some sort of renewable uh, energy source, doesn't look the same. I like these pictures. They show a little bit of a realistic, let's say, approach to both energy sources and um, judging a little bit more realistically the two, uh, let's say, choices one has to make if you're going for an energy production source. So this meme will get my friendly stamp of approval. Okay, uranium, me, uranium and thorium. I love you guys so much. Yes, I, I, I feel this person. I feel the same way. And uh, I agree with this. I like this meme. It's a very good meme. So as I said before, as long as we try and solve or have, have a solution about the limitations of the thorium reactors, then I'm all for using thorium reactors alongside with uranium reactors, especially when it comes to fast spectrum. Who would win? 350,000 solar panels or one cloud? <laughs> you know who would not have a problem with that? Nuclear power. <laughs> My kidnapper is returning me to my house after hearing me talk non-stop for three hours about how people are against nuclear power, actually promote energy, uh, poverty for billions of people. <laughs> they get sick of that, so she's just throwing him back. I guess you spread the war wherever you can and with whoever you can, so I'm glad he's back, hopefully safe and sound. If you know the names of two nuclear reactors, but none of the 440 plus others, then you don't have a valid opinion on nuclear power. Mm, I don't agree with this beam. 
uh, because you don't need to know the names of 450 plus reactors in order to have an opinion about them. But I do understand that uh, the person is referring, the Simpsons character, is referring to um, Chernobyl and Fukushima. So the reactor accident the, of the reactors in Chernobyl and Fukushima and uh, not really taking into consideration the 400 plus reactors we're currently having and they're working and producing energy for the world. Uh, nevertheless, it is a little bit passive aggressive in my opinion. And uh, I think that everybody deserves to be educated and to be given informed uh, opinions about nuclear energy so they can then make their informed decisions about it. When someone asks you if you don't want a nuclear reactor in your backyard, <laughs> you're taking the fuel assembly and you're like, I want that. Uh, yes, this is actually a fuel assembly. So every single small line that you see is a fuel road inside which there is uranium pellet uh, that is the fuel. And all these roads are in this kind of box uh, formation placed inside. And this is one fuel assembly. And there are hundreds of those inside a reactor core, depending on the reactor design, the number changes. And they look a little bit different for pressurized water reactors and boiling water reactors, but pretty much the same if you can't really tell the difference. They don't really look much uh, different. I like the, the old lady. I'm with her. She gets my friendly stamp of approval. I would do the same thing. Germany, after 40 years of energy when the call, you must be truly desperate to come to me for help. <laughs> I hope that at least Germany, if... I hope that at least Germany, if they didn't realize their mistake from any other, let's say, aspect, uh, they would at least realize it from all the memes that have been created because of that. I wish nuclear power was saved. And the genie says, it is done. And then the person is like, nothing's changed. And then the genie is like, correct, because it was saved all this while. Hmm? I like this. <laughs> I've noticed that most of the people watching my videos aren't subscribed to my channel. What are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you get weekly videos about nuclear physics. This was fun reviewing these uh, memes. Uh, they were really funny. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this meme review and if you would like me to review even more memes in the future. It's been Alina, your friendly nuclear physicist and until next time, see you soon.